What is going on everybody? I want to show you what one bottle of resin printed out on my Mars 2 Pro 3D printer. I'm brand new to the hobby, but I basically got everything to go pretty good. So this is what I use, Soraya Tech Fast, and the color is creamy. And let's just jump into it. We'll start first. I printed up two of the test files. You get two on the plate. This is how you can test that you've leveled your printer and they both came out pretty good. The test files here I wouldn't do again now that I've done it once and I'm familiar with it, but it's very intimidating to uh, hit that print button and get it leveled and get everything going. So that was the first. Then I joined the Patreon Great Grimoire, which or my mini factory, it's like the tribe's Patreon version. I printed two hospital beds with a sheet covering a dead body. They have a whole insane asylum hospital set. I'm gonna probably print out the other versions of the hospital beds, the characters, and all the cool stuff from that. So we got two hospital beds as well. I got, this one is one of my worst ones. This is the fountain from outside the hospital. It is so pathetically small. Just zero interesting thing about this little fountain. Some of them are primed, as you can tell. But the worst part of all was I also printed out a, a textured base. You could kind of see the cobblestones. Probably didn't pick the right background for this primer, but uh, this was the little base that printed, and then this is the little fountain that goes on it. Just sad. Uh, not actually too happy with the Great Grimoire models. The details are a little too soft for me, but we'll change that later. The uh, I guess you're supposed to print a bunch of these or scale it up to a really big size, but there is my little fountain outside the hospital. So I also printed up some witches, which the details on these seemed so bad, but once they were primed, they at least looked a little better. So when you're looking at it unprimed, you can tell, it's hard to see the details. This is a free file too. So you can get this little witch sorceress lady. And I printed two of those. This one's just on a regular kind of 32 mil base or 28 mil base maybe. So, you know, I'll paint these up, maybe put them for sale. Then I wanted to try printing this bandit leader. This is still the great grimoires. Uh, Kickstarter or my sorry my mini factory tribes you can maybe tell this foot is completely flat and did not print um, that's because I didn't put I guess a good support once again the details are so hard to see once it's primed you can see them a bit better I'll probably use like a blob or something on that foot to make it somewhat roughly a foot shape and I think they'll be fine this is like an abandoned lady also these models because they're more realistic scale these were holding little birds, and all three of the birds broke off immediately when washing the model. So, oh well, the birds are gone. No big deal. Then I printed out these, which is like a clockwork fancy boy. This is at 115% scale for the Great Grimoire's tribe on my mini factory. <clears throat> so, we got three of the clockwork boy... He's sort of like a doctor of a clock tower. I don't know, a fancy clockwork kind of guy. Cool model. 115 isn't too bad because if you put him next to like War Machine from a Marvel Crisis Protocol, he's similar size. So maybe you go 115 on Great Grimoire to get a little bit more of the details to show. But, you know, I don't know. Another thing is I printed out bases with them and there is virtually no visible texture on these bases. So this was an absolute waste of resin on the bases, just like this little tile at this scale was just a waste of resin. And this is my first bottle of resin. So we're still going. A bottle of resin runs about 35 to $40. So in the thumbnail or whatever, I'll put the price, the exact price I paid for my bottle. I didn't look it up before I started filming, but yeah. So even with the wash, the texture didn't show up, so I primed over it, whatever. Cool model, though. It's like a clockwork guy, fancy guy with a cane, top hat, long coat. Good times. So, now we're going to get into some cool stuff. 
I printed out two owl bears. These are a free file on my mini factory. You can find them if you just search owl bear. I think you can find them on Yeji or Thingiverse, maybe two, Colts 3D. I started painting one. I love painting owl bears. It's so fun. And if you look, this is the WizKids owl bear that I have Zenithal primed. And this is the 3D printed owl bear. So very similar size, different poses, of course. But this one's about $10 and this one's about 70 cents. Something like that, whatever it comes out to be. It's very, very cheap to print these guys. So two owl bears. I plan on printing many, many more owl bears. They're so fun to paint. I have the ghost dry brushes, the new contrast paint lines and turbo paints and whatever that companies are coming out with are so fun to use on these textured bears. Super fun to paint. Also a great model to paint and sell. Now I moved over and I joined uh, Print My Minis, which is a, pay, or a tribe on my mini factory, and they are formerly known as Atlantis Miniatures. Now this is my style. Here is an awesome Minotaur swinging around a ball and chain. This miniature was actually free in my welcome package for joining their tribe. And every time I say tribe, just if you're not familiar, that's basically Patreon for my mini factory. Um, so you get this free Minotaur. I printed out two of them. He's awesome. He's got more of those kind of cartoonish, you know, comic book proportions, which makes him going to be a joy to paint these. So fun. I printed out two. So we got two owl bears, two Minotaurs, an entire hospital bed thing, some chess pieces. Now, I also printed out these goblins, which are going to be hard to see on camera, but I'm going to show you anyway, because I want to show you everything I got with one bottle of resin. Now, this little goblin brute is so fun. I had to print him at a bigger scale. So this is like 115 maybe, and it's a goblin with a club, and I printed him larger. But you get the little goblin warband, and this is like a D&D &D character warband of goblins, which is just good times. You got the wizard here. He's a really good looking night goblin wizard style. You also have a, a shaman goblin or a druid you could use him as. He's got not quite the spell effects. He's a little more, a little less wizardly, a little more natural clothes. We got the goblin assassin. He's got the double daggers. He's doing sort of a superhero landing pose. And these guys are small, like they're small, like the Grimgar, great grimoire characters, but they got the kind of rounded stylistic details that'll make them fun to paint. The little goblin fighter or barbarian brute, so cool with his little club, shirtless little buff guy. And then you got the goblin adventure who could be like your ranger or, you know, some other class in D&D. He's got sort of a punch dagger thing going. Wonderful little goblins. Now we're going to get into some really cool stuff. This is one of my favorite things I've printed. Unfortunately, I'll just get to the bad right away. This foot did not print. So I'm definitely gonna print another one because I want this model complete, but I'm gonna make this one probably standing in a pile of mud or swamp scum or whatever. But you can see he's got rabbits and squirrels on his shoulders, covered in mushrooms, giant club. This is basically the Trogoff character of uh, the Gloom Spike Gets. And this is a big model. Like, if you want to, we'll pull in uh, our good friend Gut Rot Spume, which is a Nurgle Chaos Warrior. This guy's not printed. But look, this is a big troll. This troll cost you about 75 no, $65 from Games Workshop for the Trogoff character troll. And this one probably cost you $5, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so there you go. It's a very big model. It's so cool, full of detail. I'm going to print another one, try to get that foot to work. Uh, and that was my fault. I did the supports myself on this. So this troll is so good looking. Just an incredible sculpt, credible sculpt, or troll model. The next uh, are hilarious, but these are the walrus warriors. Now, I have the fifth one on the printer going right now. You might hear it in the background. But uh, 
I might have been able to actually complete the walrus on the same bottle of resin, but the printer was getting low and I wanted to just make sure it worked because, you know, it takes about five hours or so to print taller models. So I wanted to succeed instead of absolutely stretch the limits of one bottle of resin. But all of this is still on the same bottle of resin. And we got some hand weapons for them, which are like walrus tusks tied to their sticks. You got a double-handed one here, so he's like, and I mean, they just slide right in. Like, you don't, no glue, and it just slides right in. That's how cool these 3D printing sculpts are. So you got the walrus double-handing his walrus claw there, and then you got some where they're like swinging whale bones or something along those lines. This is probably like a whale bone. And just a closed fist, which I'm printing out the other hands too on this next plate. I definitely could have got all the weapons on the same bottle of resin to finish up these, uh, but because the fifth troll is also a large one, you know, just want to make sure that it worked and not, uh, <laughs> didn't fail, right? Because I don't, I'm so excited to print new stuff that I don't want it to fail. And besides basically a couple flat feet and a missing foot on a troll, that is about all the fails I've had. So obviously that would have been an entire bottle of resin, but boom, look at this mountain troll. <laughs> this is huge. This thing is so burly. I started gluing them together, started filling in the gaps a little bit so I can get them primed up. This guy would probably sit on a hundred mil base. I'll bring in another model so you can see for scale, but this is on one bottle of resin. This thing would probably cost you around, well, only probably around the $15 to $30 range, maybe $40 range in a, a WizKids or a uh, Reaper Bones model. This is a resin one, though. But in, like, a Games Workshop for, say, a Mega Gargant Troll, this thing is going to run you over $100. And this probably cost me five or ten dollars and here you go here's that rot spume which is a big you know nurgle chaos warrior i got another guy here you can we can use for comparison which is the little barbarian from uh silver tower which it looks like he's gonna be fun to paint and actually i got another one that i'm working on that's gonna be a really good comparison here is the nemesis dread knight from gray knights so if they're about evened up this troll is bulkier, bigger, and ready to smash the Nemesis Dread Knight with this rock. But, you know, I, bet, I think these run about $60, $60 probably for one of these bad boys. I'm painting this for somebody. And this troll is probably running me $10, maybe. I don't know. It tells you a estimate of the cost when you print it. I don't pay too much attention to it. I wanted to see how much I could get with one bottle of resin. Like I said, on the last print that's going right now with the fifth walrus warrior and the rest of the weapons, I maybe could have maybe could have finished the walrus unit. Right there, you got, I mean, a unit of three trolls is probably 60 bucks, 50 bucks. They're at least $10 a piece. About the $8.99 this size in WizKids for things like Beholders and owl bears. You got owl bears. I got an entire adventuring party. Oh, I just dropped a whole bunch of them. Of goblins. Little female desert bandits. Two witches. Three clockwork warriors. Some of the worst bases I've ever seen and a terrible little tile thing that needs to be much, much bigger. A silly tiny fountain, more witches, two minotaurs, <laughs> double hospital beds. I really think these hospital beds are cool. Another piece of that silly fountain and these chess pieces that, you know, you'll just remember as the fun thing that you very first printed to try to learn how to print. So, 
And there you go. Now, get these on there too. There it is. That is one bottle of resin. And that's everything I got. That would be literally four or five hundred dollars in Games Workshop, probably. <laughs> Just assuming, you know, how big the monsters are. You know, these are pretty chunky ogre size walrus fighters which is just i mean these are going to be so fun to paint it's going to be very hard for these companies to keep up or compete i think with the 3d printing or also just keep uh quality sculptors on payroll without paying them a huge salary because these people can go on my mini factory or patreon or whatever and start these campaigns and just get paid directly from their customers for the jobs that they're already doing wonderful you can print things at different sizes if i want i could scale this minotaur way up in size i could print you know this fountain at a huge scale at least you know as big as whatever my printer will fit and yeah i'm super excited and you just get these crazy unique things like walrus warriors i got polar bear warriors i can print so many trolls and giants already i haven't even spent that much money on files at all because when you join these people's uh patreons and my mini factory tribes they're basically ten dollars a month a lot of them have early birds still on my mini factory tribes or you're getting them for like eight or nine dollars a month then you're getting 50 percent off these bundle files so i bought the whole hospital set which i have not printed yet for like twelve dollars i got all the ice characters the walruses the polar bears snow trolls that i haven't printed yet polar bears themselves not even just warriors with axes so much cool stuff uh it's so much fun immediately you want a second printer because you know you load up your two hospital beds and then right after you click print you start looking online and you see oh i want to print the fountain right or and then you get that going next or oh i wish i had a giant swamp troll covered in mushrooms and also this patreon that i'm on the print my minis i'm gonna get the giant spider with the canopy huda thing with the goblins on top i'm gonna get rock trolls and a couple other models this month from them so i'll be able to print an entire gloom spike gets troll army from ten dollars worth of support to this patreon or tribes if you're on my mini factory and probably i don't know if i was just doing trolls i mean and i didn't do this gigantic one that's hiding under here now you saw how big he was Maybe one bottle of resin, one bottle of like $40 resin, and I could probably get an entire troll army. It's pretty insane. The comparison is crazy. Now, also, I want to reiterate, I have not had any major fails yet. My printer hasn't destroyed itself. My, my screens are still good. I did miss this foot and a couple feet on the bandit girls. But uh, as far as major fails that have caused like crazy amounts of tinkering or dealing with the resin printer i haven't had that yet i've only had it about a week or so so that could probably get annoying in the future if that happens but for right now this is like feels like you're just printing anything you want for basically free it just does not feel like i've spent much money at all and just picture this you could paint this troll for example especially if you had a foot probably sell them for 120 dollars if you're a good painter or way more if you're a really good painter so two of those trolls and you'd already have paid for your entire printer if you paint and sell them so there you go that's it i just wanted to document and share everything i printed with one about 40 dollar bottle of resin and i am so excited to print more so I hope you subscribe, like the video. If you are interested in printers, I have the Mars 2 Pro by Elgu and Black Friday, Cyber Monday's coming up. So maybe you'll be able to get a deal. Mine ran me about $236 for the printer, then about $40 for the resin and, you know, maybe three dollars for paper towels and three dollars for 91 percent rubbing alcohol and you gotta wear gloves so there you have it hopefully you enjoyed this 
it's crazy how much you can print off one bottle and I just ordered a bunch more so I guess I'll make another one of these once I finish the next bottle of resin. I'll see you in the next one. Adios.